Here's some tricks for easy animations in CapCut, even if you're not Isaac. All right, guys, so let's take a look. Here's some easy tricks. So the first easy trick is to upgrade your little stock photo. So if you have a stock photo like this one, I'll just go ahead and add this onto the timeline. And a quick and easy way to do this, which I've seen not only Isaac, but a couple other channels I've seen do this just for a real easy way to upgrade some stock photos. Just go ahead and remove the background. So click up on this tab and we're going to go to auto removal. And that way we would take out that background and then go ahead and add in your character. So of course you're going to have to create a character somewhere, whether it's Dolly or on Bing images or mid journey, wherever you're going to get your character from, go ahead and add them in and then go click on mask and click on the circle mask and increase that size a little bit to where you get their head in the frame of the circle mask just like that and once you do that you can click back onto basic and now you can move around this circle masked head of your character we could resize it and make it to where it fits onto this onto the body of the stock photo just like so and now what you can do is i'm just going to drag this clip down next to this other one i'll put it right above here make sure that you select both clips i'll just right click and i'll choose create compound clip so now once i do that it's combined both of those so now i can resize this character and the head will stay the same size if i want to flip him i just click that mirror tab like that so we could show him animating like that you know and you can move him around wherever you want or you can also choose an animation so if you want him to swing in or so if you want him to swing in like that take a look at that again like so or maybe you want him to spin in you just choose one of these animations like that so you could do it just like that it just gives your video a little bit more of a custom look instead of just using a stock photo like some people do or a stock video you could just add on your character's head just simply like that and uh, make it easy on yourself and that's a quick way to create like a little animation the other way to do some easy animations is to add in some keyframes okay so we put this in behind this clip and then we can use keyframes so we'll place it like right here and i could just say something like my video just got 91,000 views this month and you could use a keyframe on this clip so we're gonna start right here and we'll click on this keyframe right here and now as we scroll the video over we could zoom in and move this over right here scale it up a little bit more and now it will automatically create another keyframe for us then if you click on the keyframe and if you right click on the clip and you click on show keyframe animation and when we click on this keyframe we're just going to add the auto curve to it just to make it a little bit more smooth let's go over to the other one and add also in another auto curve okay so now when you play this clip you get something like that which is a lot better than just adding a static screenshot so you want to make sure you give a little animation to your videos so that's a just a quick easy way to add some animations in CapCut and make your video a little bit more customized and it will also increase your viewer retention all right, guys, stay tuned for the next video.